What's up, foodies? Uh, thank you so much for all the love you guys give me so far. I really, really, really appreciate that. Keep the love coming. Thank you so much. Keep sharing, liking, and subscribing the video. It gives me so much motivation. So thank you so much. Um, I really appreciate you guys. Without wasting any more of your time. So for today, um, the recipe we're going to be making I'm bringing one of the dishes that's a traditional dishes from Gujarat. Gujarat is part of India where I come from. Going back to my roots, we're actually going to go out and make some Vati Dharna Khamar. Uh, some part of India, it's also known as Khamar Dokra. Um, there is a difference between Khamar and Dokra if you are in Gujarat. Um, Khamar is made out of either, um, either the dal or uh, out of uh, basin and dokla is made out of rice. So there is a very big difference between those two. Um, today's recipe, we're gonna be making kaman dokra. Uh, I mean, sorry, um, yeah, kaman dokra, and uh, we're gonna be making it from the dal. Um, it's called wadi dal na kaman dokra. So without wasting any more of your time, let's get you connected to my roots. All right, guys, so to make the wadi dal na kaman, uh, we, what we use is we have to use the dal. Um, this is going to be uh, chana dal, that's what we're using. Uh, chana dal is chickpeas dal. Uh, now, normally, traditionally when it's made, we have to soak it for about six to eight hours. And after soaking it, uh, we grind the dal. So I have already pre-soaked my dal and I have already grinded the mixture for it. Now, I have my pre-soaked and grinded mixture. Um, all I've done is grinded it and pre-soaked it. Now we're gonna go ahead and add some uh, ingredients to it. So what we're adding for the fermentation part of it, um, sometimes uh, people add yeast to it. I don't like adding yeast to my, uh, to my food. So what I'm doing is for fermentation, I'm gonna use some yogurt. Um, using about two big spoon of yogurt in here. Uh, you want to make sure that the yogurt that you use, um, you um, you whisk it a little bit. You want to make sure that there are no chunks of yogurts going in there. So just whisk the yogurt and then go out and add it. We don't have to finely whisk it. Just whisk it a little bit and you're fine. Now at the same time, we're going to add some soda bicarbonate in it. It's about one and a half teaspoons of soda bicarbonate. Also adding some freshly chopped... Uh, uh, green chilies, so green chili paste. Now with that, I'm gonna go ahead and add fresh ginger paste to it. And fresh garlic paste to it as well. Now the only other thing that we are adding with that is we're gonna be adding some salt and we're gonna mix it very good. Add salt to your taste. I'm just adding just a little bit of salt. Now the amount of uh, food I have, it's gonna make um, uh, common for um, common dokla for about four to five people. So uh, if you're making it just for one or two people, just use one spoon of uh, or one cup of uh, dal, and that's all it's needed. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a good mix, and then I'll show you the next step to it. It's a very simple process, very sim uh, simple recipe. Um, you can pretty much, uh, if you're just making it for one person or two person, you can get done with it in like 10 to 15 minutes max. All right guys, so I've given it a good mix. I mixed it for about one to two minutes and now it's all mixed together. Um, make sure you check your salt before you go out and start making the common. You want to make sure that um, you have equal amount of everything. Um, now what we're gonna do, and also um, this is the consistency you want of it. You don't want to fine grind it. You you want to have like little bit of chunks in there. So just in a in a way, the reason why it's called wadi darna kaman it's because just like how you hand grind it, that's how you want the mixture to be. So don't fine grind the mixture. Now what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna oil our plate that we're gonna use. So I'm just using just a tiny bit of oil, and I'm gonna go ahead and um, make sure I spread the oil around for the whole plate. All right guys, so I've um, brushed my uh, plate with the oil and um, <clears throat> all we're gonna do is just pour the mixture in there. Um, you want to make sure you leave a little bit of room in your plate. 
and you make sure uh, make sure well before you um, you add it to the plate. Uh, the reason why you want to add uh, leave a little bit of room it's because when you're steam cooking the the common it's gonna start becoming spongy so you want to make sure you have a little bit of room in there now the other reason why I'm using aluminum plate is aluminum is a much better con um, conductor of heat compared to steel it just helps you cook a little bit faster spreads the heat even as we're steaming the, the common so uh, better for you instead of using steel you can use whatever that's available for you for me I just like using the aluminium alright guys so since we're gonna steam cook it I have my steamer going over here um, have about half a water filled in there and all we're gonna do is, is we're gonna put our plate in there and then we're gonna cook it for about 10 minutes um, once it's in there we're just gonna cover it up let it cook for 10 minutes and our uh, dokla is gonna be ready alright guys so um, once you keep the, uh, the common in there for about 15 minutes or so uh, this is how it's gonna start coming up and this is done actually the way you check if your plate is ready or not if you take a knife and if you just poke it a little bit and when you take it out if it doesn't stick to it that means your common is done so this plate is done I have some plates that I've created or um, gotten it ready over here already so what we're gonna do it's very 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 easy to take it out so you just gotta take a knife and then just run it around um, <coughs> and then you cut them in the shape that you like I usually the traditionally they are um, they're in squares so I'm just cutting them in squares alright guys so this is how you want to uh, cut your commons uh, doesn't have to be in exact shape this is good enough shape now the last thing we're gonna do with the common is we're going to add a tarka to it. So for the tarka, we're going to use ample amount of rye. Rye is mustard seed. So I'm using about three tablespoons of rye in there. Once the rye starts crackling, we're just going to add some um, chilies to it. Give it a good mix. Add some coconut, some dhania, and we're going to be good to go. Now that my rye is crackling and it's almost done, I'm going to go ahead and add some chilies to it. Now at this point I'm going to go ahead and uh, lower my heat as well. So we're not going to cook on high heat anymore. So Now we're not going to completely cook the chilies. We're going to keep them a little bit half cooked. Now once that's half cooked, so this is perfect as far as the texture of the chilies goes. Um, we're going to go ahead and add our common to it. Um, Yes, be careful when you're adding the common in hot oil. Don't get burned just like how I did. Then once you add common in there, you're just going to give it a good mix. Alright guys, so after you give it a good mix, um, you want to make sure when you mix it, you want to make sure you have uh, oil on every single common that you are making. Uh, once you mix it, all you do is just add some fresh cilantro to it. Um, you want to add ample amount of cilantro. Um, so make sure you add a lot of lot of cilantro. Now once you add cilantro, um, go ahead and add some fresh coconut to it as well and give it a good mix after you add some coconut to it and then your common are ready alright guys so after giving it a good toss giving it a good mix this is what your common are gonna look like um, this is pretty much ready um, so as you know the food is waiting uh, food is ready one of the things I do want to tell you guys again I want to thank you guys for all the love you guys give me uh, so this is my first video of, uh, of the two for the traditional food that I want to make, traditional Gujarati food I make. So keep an eye out for my second video. It's going to be Save, uh, save Company. Um, it's going to be related to this. Um, so please keep watching the video. Keep liking the channel. The food is ready. I'm not waiting on you. Thank you so much. Have a great day.